That's right, guys. Lou Pizarro here hanging out with Anna Vergara Mendoza. Ooh, oh, Woo, the oh. Wonder Chola Rad Fuchsia's in the background. Yes. That's right, guys. We are practicing our social distancing. We have our mask. Guys, you can go to ElChicanoMerch.com and see what's going on and get this cool mask. If you guys love the movie, you're going to be fa a fan of the merchandise. Check it out. At any rate, uh, so we're kind of working on weekends, what we did over the weekend. So, um, uh, again, guys, this is our Louis Fernandez uh, star and uh, team leader, Puti was in LA show. He'll be with us in a little bit. But... Do you guys want to know what I did over the weekend? Yes. What did you do? I want to know. So uh, I went bike riding. I did a lot of thinking. Uh, I'm just kind of working again on, on my physique and my body and my weight and stuff like that. And and then I was invited to go shooting. And I'm like, yes, let me get rid of some of this anxiety. Let me get rid of some of this intrusive thoughts. So I went with, with awesome friends and we were shooting some fully automatic weapons and some shotguns. And I was just blowing shit up. Boom! <laughs> I, was, ah, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, uh, I was having flashbacks. I was, I was insane, man. It was such a release. You know, it's kind of like that release when you have, well, it was just, it, it was, it was really intense, you know, and it's, I felt good about it. But anyways, uh, um, I got to do some target practicing and uh, I had a lot of flashbacks when I was in the Marine Corps and, uh, you know, hit some good targets, man. I remembered why I, I had that uh, cross rifles on my uniform and I shot 242, and, and which, which is pretty impressive, uh, you know, from what they're telling me. So I was excited. But so that's what I did over the weekend for the most part. And uh, uh, that's it. I know nobody asked, but I'm telling you. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. And I guess I do get to hit it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so, that being said, don't worry about it. everybody. You're safe. I got it all out of my system. Nobody has to worry. Everything is cool. All right, amigos, amigas, we are good. And that I being said, guys, cool. <laughs> I got to welcome our dear oh, yeah. friend and colleague, our brother, to the show, Repo Radio, Louis Fernandez. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me here. Oh, you got it, brother. Thank you for being a part of our life, man. So I, I got to tell you, man, it's it's been an honor, brother. And I know we got a lot more years. I'm not trying to put you in your grave tomorrow. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, hey, man, let, let's start from the very beginning when we first met. And we did this pilot called Fugitives of the Law. So what were your thoughts, bro, when we first did this? Well, wait a minute. We made an Operation Repo, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well, well, tell the audience a little bit about that. I kind of played an extra, and you guys came out to uh, to uh, take a, a car in the neighborhood. And uh, I ended up fighting with Matt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, that's a big boy, man. That's pretty yeah. intimidating. Yeah. But you, you carry a gun, so I don't think you were worried about it. I didn't have it that day. <laughs> I, I was at my uncle's house and I was sleeping. Oh, so wow. So when I came out because of the car, I, I didn't bring it out with me. But I had a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So that was the start, man. And we developed, uh, you know, we, we figured out we're both Marines. Ura. And uh, Ura, you had the tattoo, which was really obvious. And, uh, you know, it, it's, I was always, I had you guys in my thoughts, and, and one day I had this idea uh, for the show. And, and, and so tell the audience what happened. Do you remember? Well, we started talking about uh, bail enforcement yep. and uh, how me and some of the guys from work used to do that part-time, kind of our second career. And at first, you kind of wanted us to teach a team to, to kind of do it. But then when they couldn't get it, we just decided, why don't we just do it? Yeah. And we just started doing it. And I remember I, I literally called you guys up and I says, hey, meet me at this address. We had an address. A friend of mine uh, was flipping houses. And I told him, hey, listen, man, can we film something there? And uh, it, it was insane. And everybody showed up. And uh, it was a great, great pilot. And we pitched it. And it got picked up. And then it's been history ever since. Now, 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 tell everybody about the team, the original team of Fujitos de la Ley, the original for Azteca. Well, the original team was all full-time law enforcement officers. Yep. Uh, it was Judy, Roman, Jason, and myself. Yep. And the teamwork was just incredible. 
since we all work together anyway, it, it was just like meeting up after work and hitting it again. Job number two, here we go. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah. so exciting, man. I remember it's like we had uh, some of the workers that my buddy had there that were flipping the houses. They had no clue what was going on. And they thought this was for real. <laughs> and I remember we broke down the door. Well, Louie and Jason, <laughs> they broke down the door, literally broke down the door because it was going to be replaced. <laughs> and they were chasing an actor through the house. And the guys in the back, they thought they were goners, man. They, they thought it was real. And, and Louie and everyone else handcuffed them and... and Mm. And it was just a beautiful thing, man. Yes. And uh, yeah, it was. I'll never forget that, man. That yeah. primitive. <laughs> we had our moments. We had our moments. Yeah, we yeah. absolutely had our moments, guys. Yeah. That's right. This is the uh, retirement show for Louis Fernandez. He's retirement from uh, uh, he retiring from law enforcement. We'll get into that in the next segment. We're gonna take a break, guys. Spread the word. Please share the button. Repo Radio. We'll be right back. Yeah, so Louis, when I, we went shooting on Sunday, man, it was, uh, I was just sitting back, relaxing, you know, and smoking a cigar and just watching you guys do your thing. And it's just a beautiful thing how you guys are so organized with these weapons, you know. Um, and uh, at one point, you uh, you pretty much said, hey, Lou, come here, come up here, and you, you put this beautiful weapon in my hand. Tell, tell everybody what that weapon was. That's a Colt M4. Wow. Yeah, it's a 5.56 millimeter caliber weapon um 30 round magazine wow uh, you had tri-burst and you let it rock man I, I was excited man it was one of those things that started having flashbacks man uh, when i was in the marine corps we had the uh, uh the m16a2 which is three round burst and uh or single shot and it was pretty exciting i mean i shot a lot of weapons but for some reason this kind of reinvigorated me a and why do you think that is because it takes you back to that moment when you realize you're invincible. Wow. The Marine Corps has just made you something that's going to live on forever. Yeah, you know, most people don't know. Uh, Marines know, uh, military know. But when you're in the Marine Corps, man, they really train you. And it's the longest boot camp. And, I mean, I was literally trained over and over again for I don't know how long on several different weapons. Grenade, you know, grenades, uh, fragmentation, uh, uh, fragmentation grenades, concussion grenades. Um, the uh, the M60, the uh, M what's that? The 249 or 249? M249. Saw. 249 saw the M203 grenade launcher. <laughs> Look at it, it's coming back to me. The the you know the 50 cal. Yeah. Um, I mean there were so many different weapons. And, and of course, you remember when I said the back blast clear? Yes, I do. That's right. Most people, only, you're the only one that knew what I was talking about. Well, I had to duck. I kind of looked around. It's like, who's saying that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I was attached. I was with fourth ladder attached to an air wing. So, uh, I, you know, I was an A-gunner. That was the idea. Okay. That's right, guys. Repo Radio, 94.3 FM, 102.5, all over the planet. We're excited. We have in the house Louis Fernandez, the star and team leader of Fugitivos de la Ley. What's up? Yeah. yeah. So Anna's over there. She's Anna, don't worry. He has a gun he's carrying. But, uh, <laughs> so, so Louis, tell everybody exactly your, your career in law enforcement. Well... I joined the Marine Corps when I was uh, 17, turned 18 in boot camp. Uh, from there, I went to work for the Federal Bureau of Prisons as a corrections officer. Wow. And then I went and I became a federal police officer. Gee whiz, man. And so you're retiring uh, like tomorrow, like Friday, right? Friday. For how many years? 32 years total government service. Wow. wow. Uh, hey, are you going to take up fly fishing? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to spend more time shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the fish. Oh. It's better. Oh, my gosh, man. That's what I'm saying. Did, yeah. It wasn't like a sudden move for you? Were you already thinking about retiring? I was already thinking about retiring. Um, I've got a great family, and now I've got grandkids. Oh, awesome. And I, I just love them. I, I want to spend as much time as I possibly can with my grandkids. Now, of all, everybody at home knows. They've all seen Fugitivos de la Ley. What is your favorite episode? Uh-oh. I know what to tell him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By far, the naked guy. Oh, that was episode one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, episode one, right? I'm like, I know I'm the creator and the producer. 
No, I uh, let Pompeo go. Nobody again. wanted to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were like pepper sprayed. <laughs> nobody wanted to touch him, uh-huh. man. <laughs> that was a good episode. Yeah, well, when when he just walked right out and you could see Monique's face, she's just like, huh? <laughs> yeah. She was like, wow. <laughs> You're in the wrong business, buddy. <laughs> no, no, that was the ice cream vendor that she went wow oh, to. Oh, oh, geez. oh that Come was on, a good the, one. The, the little guy? The little guy. <laughs> yeah. He was that awesome. Was classic. Yeah. Oh, she said God. the little guy had a baton. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> oh my so, god <laughs> so I, I got a question for you brother uh, um, tell us tell the audience uh, like who is the top celebrity you ran into as a federal officer oh oh man there's so many of them okay um uh, yeah how about let's talk about the captain captain kirk <laughs> 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 So uh, we pulled him over, and <laughs> it was me and Roman, and we were on duty. We pulled him over for speeding, and he was in this nice, classic convertible. Oh. I mean, beautiful car. So we walk up to him and uh, ask him for driver's license, registration, proof of insurance, <laughs> start talking to him. And he's looking at us like, you guys don't know who I am. He's giving us that look, you know, like, come wow. on, you guys, you don't recognize me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we're talking to him, and he goes, uh, ha- "Have you guys ever watched uh, Star Trek?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, nah, not really a sci-fi <laughs> guy." <laughs> and Roman's just looking at me like, "What are you talking about?" We <laughs> <laughs> got another year. <laughs> <laughs> so I pretended I was writing a citation out. Uh-huh. I was going to give him a ticket. Wow. And uh, I walk up to the car, and I gave him back his stuff, and I said, I need you to press hard three copies. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at him, he goes, you really don't recognize me. I go, no. <laughs> but you know what? On second thought, I would never give Sergeant T.J. Hooker a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. (laughs) And you know what, brother? Because you're so cool, so many people have reached out to me. They knew about the show. And one of of our sponsors reached out at veteransgreencoffee.com. And literally, they're going to give you 30-day supply of coffee. That's right, veteransgreencoffee.com. So here it is, right? You're gonna have a whole box <laughs> full of this stuff, man. So you're gonna be nice. wired. So a big oh. shout out to VeteransGreensCoffee.com, the whole team. Thank you guys so much. I, again, brothers, they're in Marine Corps, Army, and they're big fans of you, man. So they wanted you to have something. You're right. So that's what I'm yeah. saying, man. Uh, wow, that's just one of the things. So, uh, <laughs> so what you know? What has been the scariest moment in law enforcement for you? You know, <laughs> I was on duty, uh-huh. and Daniela uh, was pregnant with uh, my daughter, Sarah. Wow. And I get the call that she fell down and hurt her back, oh. and she couldn't move. Oh, my God. And I called the office, and I told Sergeant Grimes, hey, Daniela just fell out. I got to go. I got to come in and drop off the car. And he said, what are you talking about, drop off the car? Go. You got lights and sirens. Go. <laughs> and and nice. I, I beat the ambulance wow. to the house. Yeah. So that, that was by far my scariest moment. Wow. Dealing with other people is, 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 is easy. I okay. can deal with other people all day long. When it's family, when it's somebody you love, that's when you get nervous. Sure. That's when you get scared. Oh, my gosh. That, that's beautiful, man. Repo Radio guys, Lou Fernandez, a star and team leader of the hit show, Fuhuti Uzilale. We'll be right back. And uh, uh, Louis, so, so, hey, man, what are your thoughts about Leva, man? What do you think about him? Leva's a great guy. Uh, I can count uh, great friends yep. on one hand. Yep. And uh, he's the pinky. Oh yeah! <laughs> you hear that, Leva? Hey, bro! I, I gotta say, man, thank you so much for supporting me and showing up to all our events, our comedy shows, man. That was really cool. Anytime, brother. And I know a couple times you bought me some tacos, so thanks for screwing up my diet, man. Anytime, bro. <laughs> 
VeteransGreenCoffee.com. That's right, guys. VeteransGreenCoffee.com. And see what's going on. This coffee, guys, supports uh, military, you know, former military members who are not working. And don't worry, guys. I'm, I, I know you guys want to see me on camera, but Tanya looks much better. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's okay, Tanya. You're much sexier than me. No worry about it. Tanya is in the house, guys. Thank you, Tanya, for being here on Louis' retirement party. You are awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Those are... Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, guys. Luke is our here at 94.3, 102.5 FM. And the high D, the place oh. to be worldwide repossessing the airways yes. with Annabeth Gata Mendoza. What's up? Rand Fuchs. Oh, and our special guest. That's right. Star and team leader of the hit TV show, Fugitivos de la Ley, all over the planet. Yeah. Louis <laughs> Fernandez. Why is he so nervous? He I, the mics. <laughs> That's right, brother. So thank you so much for being here, man. Uh, you know, it's like we can sit here and ask questions and questions and questions, and I appreciate you sharing that with me. So when you were in the Marine Corps, I seen a video where you were out there shooting a 50 cal. Tell Ma us deuce. about that. Good old Ma deuce. And, and yeah. where were you in Afghanistan, Kuwait, Iraq? Where was that at? We were in Saudi Arabia. That was wow. the Battle of Kafchi. And you were taking some fire, man. So my hat's out to you, bro. I bow down to you because not too many devil dogs, you know, get to experience that and go through that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> now, you know, I see you get a little emotional, and we respect that, brother. But, but tell the audience a little bit about that. I want them to know who you are. Um, I'm just Louie, man. I'm one of those guys who... who survived i'm one of those guys who who sits here and even to this day when i see people who are getting in trouble or whatever i, I try to steer them in that same direction i try to get them to join the marine corps oh yeah um there's something that happens there there's a change that takes place and a lot of people think that that the marines are full of bravado and and ego but when you're out there it's about your brothers Yep. It's about the other guy. It's it's not about you. You you don't even think about yourself anymore. You think about how are we going to make sure that they get home, and that's what we did throughout the entire campaign was was wow. help each other get back. Wow. That yeah, I remember that video like yesterday, man. It was yeah. really impressive, emotional, intense. It's just one of those things, man. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. Well. I have a question. Um, other than, you know, obviously spending time with family, what's one thing uh, when you're retiring that you really want to do that you haven't just had time to do? <laughs> a project, anything? I want to go visit Sicily. Mm. All right. Uh, my, my family's Cuban-Sicilian. Um, don't get that wrong. I am an American first, first and foremost. Uh, but I would like to go see where the family came from out in Sicily. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow, that's what I'm saying, man. So, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's my turn. <coughs> that's right, brother. <clears throat> okay, well, I have, I have a weird question, but of all the police vehicles you've driven, what has been the most, what's your favorite police vehicle? The 1987 Chevy Caprice Classic. Ah, okay. Yeah, that big square car. <laughs> that thing had power. It had speed. And it was one of the last few police cars that was made out of real American steel mm. and would stop a bullet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ching, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know, man. It's just one of those things where... Uh, Look, another question. What has been the most memorable, the, the most exciting moment for you as a law enforcement officer? Bringing twins into the world. What? Oh. Yeah. What? Tell us that story. I was working uh, at that time for the Bureau of Prisons as a corrections officer, and I was in the women's unit. And we had a pregnant female who had twins, gave birth to twins. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? How old are they now? 1995, 96. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, so they'd and be you older. You helped? Like uh, yeah. 
You did? Yeah. Wow. Now, have you ever had anybody like that you've saved or, you know, had some sort of effect on come back like 20 years later, like you see on the Internet and like, you know, look, look you up after all this time? Did that ever happen? Like, I got a postcard one time from this guy who must have been maybe 20. He had uh, left his family uh, back in Tennessee, came to California. He was out here. He was getting in a little bit of trouble. And uh, I walked him to Union Station. I put him on a train back to Tennessee, and I said, this is not for you. Get back to your family. Wow. And uh, I got a Christmas card from him one year saying that uh, thank you, that uh, his family was grateful, and that, that when he got back, he realized what he lost. Wow. And, and he spent a couple of years regaining his family back. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Louis Fernandez, guys, for yeah. Deals LA, star and team leader, hit TV show. Talk, guys. It's Lou Pizarro here. Yeah. I almost said Lou Fernandez. <laughs> Hanging out with Anna Vergara, Rand Fuchsius, and of course our special guest from Fugitivos de la Ley, Louis Fernandez. Yeah. Brother, you got your Veterans Green Coffee. So you got a huge supply of this, man. Veterans supporting veterans. This is really important. So everyone out there, once you go to veteransgreenscoffee.com and see what's going on. Also, we got a few other gifts for you. We got you a your very own copy of Fuji, I'm sorry, of Operation Repo, the movie, <laughs> which you are in. You are in this movie, brother. Yeah. So t- tell the audience, what was your experience about that? <laughs> it was exciting. And it was filmed in this very room. Yes. <laughs> Most of it, yeah. I played the FBI agent who was interrogating you. Oh, yeah. And what was funny is that uh, we used a lot of reality in that one scene. It was completely unscripted and ad-libbed, and it just worked. It was like magic. That's what I'm saying, and it was. And it just (laughs) came together, blended together. Here's a copy of your movie. Also, too, man, it's not much, but here's California Dreaming Lottery ticket for you. Nice. So I'm hoping that you win $30,000 there for your retirement. Awesome. You got the coffee. I got you a deck of cards. Aww. And not only that, we got you a cool cake. Bring out the cake, man. Put it yeah. in front of Louie. There you go, man. You can open it up. Kevin Martinez in the house. What's up, brother? Let's, uh, uh, let's open it completely up. Let's take it out of there and set it right in front of him so we can get a good visual on that. Courtesy of Lotus Bakery. That's right in San Fernando. You guys are awesome. Yeah, pull it right oh, out of there, wow. brother. Is that cool? <laughs> we haven't seen it. Yeah, you could just kind of like try to scoop it out of there. and. Yeah, there you go. You see Kevin's hands. He's a martial artist. See how smooth <laughs> he's doing that like Bruce Lee. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Wow. This is Outstanding. Wow, look at that. Oh. Look at see the finesse Kevin has. <laughs> I know, he's like. Hey, brother, congratulations, man. Happy retirement. Thank you. Right. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Get That's down, amazing. Jackie Brown, man. need a man. picture of that. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much, brother. Yeah, that was like 40 pounds lighter and had more hair. Yeah. <laughs> that is for sure, man. Yeah. That's some good stuff, brother. You guys are, uh, you're going to make me tear up. Matt, uh, brother, I, I got to tell you, we appreciate you. We respect you. We thank you. We love you. And we're going to be friends for a long time. I, and, yes, you are going to be fly fishing with me because <laughs> I like to fish, man. So, and that being said, it, 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 you know, for me, it's, it's, you know, these cool. Hold on, let me go over there. and Hey, put the camera on Anna for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, let's all look at Anna. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing? So let's see out. Lou's going over there taking his gifts. All right, the movie. Look at that. Hope you win the thirty thousand dollars. All right, put the camera on Louis. Let him see the little things you got, man. You got the California Dreaming Lotto card. Oh yeah. Daniela, why don't you come over here and scratch that while we're here? <laughs> no. Why not? George. He did enough itching already. So come on. <laughs> come and scratch it. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I got my playing cards. I can't use my That's computer. right. And Operation Repo the movie. And Don't forget to go and buy it. And yes. his supply of Veterans Green coffee. That's and right. don't go beyond the wire unless you're wired with Veterans Green. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Happy nice. Uh, yeah, I think you have a, a career in voiceover. <laughs> I'm serious. That's a good commercial. You have a very distinct voice. <laughs> oh, you guys missed that, man. Larissa. Oh. 
All right, I have to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. <laughs> Brother, thank you. Thank you so much, man. We definitely appreciate you. Reaper Raider, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lou Pizarre here, guys. Uh, we're hanging out in the house with Anna Vedgato, my co host, Rand Fuchsius. Yeah. And our special guest, star and team leader of the hit TV show, Futiwa Zilale, Louis Fernandez. Nice. Louis, Louis, Louis. Hey, brother, I got to tell you, man, it, it's. You're retiring. That's great. But uh, one thing that I got to bring up, man, um, one of uh, your close friends and our colleague, Roman Morales III, uh, he passed. Uh, it's going to be three years now, right? Yes. Three years, man. So, yeah. I mean, if Roman was here, brother, what would you tell him? What would you say to him right now? i tell him I love him, and he was one of the best partners I ever had. Yeah. That, yeah. That's well deserved, man, because he was a phenomenal guy, and uh, he he's worked with us on a lot of different things. Um, the comic book Repo Man, which you guys can get, uh, also too. His, his memory lives on in a lot of our projects. He's always going to be there. His legacy is going to continue on Fujitivo Zilale. Also, the Ruffer Man movie, the comic book. So uh, rest in peace, brother. I, I just wanted to uh, bring that out, let people know a little bit about your character and and the team that that. Uh, that has been with us for so long, man. So, uh, and this doesn't mean that the show, you know, the show can continue because there's people have been reaching out to us to do, you know, new episodes. Uh, I mean, let's talk about Futibus de la Ley Los Angeles with the new team. We got, uh, who were the additional characters that we had on that show? We had Monique and Bombero. Yeah. And I got to tell you, man, yeah. oh, talking about hot as hell. Oh, man, Bombero was hot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, that guy, man, he's just hot, man. Yeah. I remember I was in Hialeah at Telemundo, and they were like, where's Bombero? Where's Bombero? <laughs> <laughs> he's back in L.A., <laughs> you know, so. He's still an L.A. City fire paramedic. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's still out there doing it every day. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, we got uh, Monique Cubarubios. Yeah. Yeah, she was phenomenal. She was a badass. She was like, she reminded me of like my sister and, and, um, geez, I have a, a brain fart, but she reminded me of my sister and Judy Medeiros, like a combination of them. Huh. Yeah, and she, she was, she was good, man. So I, I'm hoping that, uh, uh, this might come back and give us, uh, you know, a second wind, you know? It would be it would be really great for the show to come back. It yeah. would be really great for all of us oh, yeah. to be able to come back. Um, I do miss working with them. Now you know, uh, Jason's uh, gone and moved to to Vail, Arizona. Uh, Bombero left the LAPD Reserve to to serve uh, full time as an LA City firefighter. Uh, Monique is still in the bonds business. Uh, Judith promoted. She's in uh, law enforcement management now. So Wow. Congratulations, Judy. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. So I have a question. Out of the 32 years of your career, what's one memory that just comes to, like, career-wise? San Bernardino. Okay. The uh, shooting in San Bernardino. Wow. Um, that was the one day where, where I picked up my phone and I texted my family, and all I texted was, I love you. And we were in it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, Jeez. Yeah. That is one memory that uh, I'll never get rid of. Mm. But uh, Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now my question kind of just sounds kind of <laughs> insensitive. <laughs> I want to know, like, you know, watching movies, what is your favorite cop movie? And like, what's more realistic? What's which a cop movie stands out to you? Dead Heat with Joe Piscopo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. So uh, I know he's like a news commentator now, or whatever. He's moved on. He's not even doing comedy or movies anymore. Yeah. But back in the day, man, watching Joe Piscopo play cop uh -huh. was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my gosh! All and, right, and none of these youngsters are going to know who Joe Piscopo is anyway. I, I remember Joe Piscopo. <laughs> well, I got to tell you one thing, brother. You're going to love that cake. Yeah. 
So that's some good cake, and it's a, a strawberry with cream filling. You're gonna really like it, yeah. and maybe you don't want to eat it. Maybe you, the picture is just too nice to, it to is. destroy. <laughs> yeah. Ripple Radio, guys, we're gonna take a break. We have Louis Fernandez in the house. Yeah. That's right, guys. Repo Radio retirement party for our dear friend Louis Fernandez, star and team leader for Tivas LA. Man, brother, it's been a long journey, huh? It's been long, but it's not over. Yeah. We're still in this. You're still young, too, man. 50. 50, wow. Yeah. Are you retired already, man? You're going to get that Social Security check? No, but I'm going to get a check. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely going to get a yeah. check, man. Maybe All a, right. the doctor will do a checkup. <laughs> you, you know what's so funny is Anna's over there. She's on this other website called Miko. Michael? Michael app. Michael, I'm on tell the Michael me what it's right about. Now. So you live stream. Like, I'm a broadcaster on here, and um, they're watching the show. Yeah. It's called the Michael app. And you pretty much get to talk to people, like, literally around the world. Like, Africa, Bolivia. I've had friends from everywhere. Right, guys? Wow. (laughs) I'm in the background just making a fool of myself. (laughs) Randy, are you on Miko? No. I should be, though, because I, you know, what else do I got to do? It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Last time I saw somebody just eating. (laughs) <laughs> really? I couldn't stop what watching. Was it? I couldn't stop watching. Did it look I don't good? Know. Wow. What were they eating? And I don't even know. Nuts. Was, nuts? <laughs> was it a Japanese guy eating ramen while crying? Oh, jeez. Look at that video on the internet. It's creepy. Louis, what's your favorite food, brother? <laughs> oh, that's a big question, man. I love a lot of foods, man. I love the uh, fried rice from Benihana, which Daniela's learned to make. Excellent. Wow. Mm. Uh, I like Cuban food. I like Italian food. Uh. Um, every now and then, I I guess this is a free pitch for them or whatever, but I, I love Tito's tacos every oh. now and oh, then. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, if, there was, uh, if you could tell someone that wants to get in law enforcement, what would you tell them? I would tell them to study. Yeah. Get ready because it's not easy. Yeah. You can get fat like me. <laughs> After you're done with the academy. <laughs> oh, wow. But in the very beginning, you, you better be tough and you better be fit. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cool. Huh? Well, you know, we got a few things that we're going to do, man. Again, so, uh, you got your, your supply of banners green coffee. You got some cool little gifts. You got your cake. I hope you like the cake, man. It, uh, we really worked that. Randy actually picked out that picture. That's a good one. Nice. Yeah, so... Yeah. And, of course, I wanted the sprinkles on the side. I don't know why, but uh, and that being said, what are we doing now? We're doing Ranfuses? Yes. All right, let's do Ranfuses. From the great sands of the San Fernando Valley, yes. a man whose wisdom began in the womb. His existence is the peak of human evolution. The peak. Women have children just to name them in his own. My honor. The all-knowing Ranfuses. I am Renfucius. My old hot sauce is just sauce. You must be 21 to visit the salad bar. You can't eat seized candy in the dark. Want more food? Use a smaller fork. Whoa. That's good. And Tesla owners, pass gas. (laughs) (laughs) That's an awful one. That was clever. What did you think about that, Louie? (laughs) It's true. (laughs) (laughs) They pass the gas station all day. (laughs) That was cool, man. Uh, Ay, ay, ay. Did you hear that, Anna? This is... uh, yeah. Randy. All right. That's my mind. My mind is, my mind works mysterious ways. It certainly does, man. It's, uh, it's, it sure it's, does. It just comes to me at, you know, at random, yeah. when I'm sleeping, when I'm awake. Well, now I got to go out and buy smaller forks. When you get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that'll work for us, man. Get a, a smaller fork. All right, man. We're going to oh, take a break, guys. Reaper Radio. Louis Fernandez in the yeah. house. Oh. That's right, guys. Woo. What a show, man. Oh, Louis. Yeah. You are an awesome man, brother. Oh, I yeah. appreciate you, bro. Well, I appreciate all of you. Man, oh, nice. and, and what, a, what an awesome career. And you're only 50, and you, you did law enforcement. You're, you're a TV 
you know, show celebrity, and there's so much more for you, man. And I got to say, it was real important for me to do this show. It was important for me to get that cake. It was just important for me to show you the love and the respect that we all have for you, bro. So I just wanted you to know that from me, from Lou, from your boy, man. So uh, <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? Aww, yeah, I, it's, it was important for me for you to know that, man. So, uh, uh, again, this is our oh, shout-outs, right, Randy? Yes. All right, so shout-outs, guys. Um, we'll go right into it, man. So we're, we're going to start ladies first. Anna, you got any shout-outs? Shout-outs to everybody wa- watching right now the live stream on Facebook. Thank you guys for tuning in every week. Um, shout out to Luis for you know the interview was awesome and so inspiring everything that he's done in 32 years of his career it's crazy um, and also my Michael at people that are watching right now hi hi guys big shout out to you guys and check out my cosmetic line glamourqueens.com nice <laughs> all right <laughs> man Louis you got some shout outs brother I got a shout out to everybody who served in the United States military uh, particularly my devil dogs, uh, all the corrections officer and people who work uh, to keep us safe from, from criminals at the Bureau of Prisons. Um, I want to take this moment now uh, that I'm going to be retiring, and I want to thank the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security Federal Protective Service Police. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve with all of you. You are truly America's unsung heroes. Very few people know who we are and what we do. And I want you guys going out there every day knowing that I'm praying for you and I'm loving you, even though I won't be wearing the uniform anymore. And last, but absolutely positively not least, my family. Because without that structured support at home, there is no way you can make it in the law enforcement career. Right. Thank you, God, for all of it. Awesome. Well said, man. Louis yeah. Fernandez. We saw what happened to Mel Gibson and Lethal Weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Rad Fuchsius. Oh, oh. What you got, name? brother? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, of course, I want, I'll want. i give a shout-out to Rebecca Luna. Uh, shout-out, of course, Jomo, Art LeBeau. Fantastic. I will be back in, in uh, the, the Palmdale. Palmdale. Palm Springs area soon. The, the, the Palms. Okay. Uh, also, Mia St. John. Shout-out to her. Um, good luck with, you know, with all your new projects coming up. I can't get into it, but it's super exciting. Uh, also, uh, shout out to, of course, Louie for stopping by. Always fun to hang out. Um, and then to go uh, to go make loud noises in the desert, that was fun. Bang, bang. Oh, bang, bang. Yeah. So I look forward to more. Um, yeah, just stick around. You know, it's fun always having you guys around. Um, yeah, that's my, my shout out. Oh, also uh, Kelly in the, in the big rig. Kelly, what's up? Yeah. Our good friend. Yeah, those are my shout outs. All right, well done, man. So, uh, first, I want to give a shout out to Louis Fernandez, brother. Congratulations on your legacy, your career, and your grandkids, by the way. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, big shout out to Armando Ochoa from Pioneer Market. He is my chicharron guy. So, and of course, uh, everybody at Santa Clarita, Harley Davidson, thank you guys so much for the love and the support. Uh, Veterans Green Coffee, JB Wholesale, uh, GTS Credit, um, all our sponsors. Uh, United Agencies, thank you guys so much as well. My daughter, Celine, my daughter, Larissa, yeah. thank you guys so much. My Reaper Radio team and uh, uh, my boys, my sons, my military, I love you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next week on Reaper Radio. Louis Fernandez, thanks, brother. Thank you for having me. Reaper Radio. Oh, all right. How are the tacos? I want some tacos. I want some tacos. From TJ? They're the best. Also, hello from La Boss. La Boss? La Boss. La Boss? To LA Boss, I think. LOL, love this guy. Can you be more specific? <laughs> Which guy? <laughs> talking, talking about me? This guy? Hopefully. He gets so happy, guys. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is all I get. I, I'm not at the talk right now. This is it. I don't right. see anybody. Except my brother. That gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't change. Oh, my at least, God. You know, at the talk. 
<laughs> at the talk, you know, Terry Crews will come by or something. Like, hey, you know, hey. You, you, right now, you don't see anybody. 